morning. Perkins. Caribou. Hi. Can I get a medium frozen hot chocolate, please? What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my camping haul that I got last week or in the previous video if you guys have saw and I want to go over the details of all the things I got. So let's get into it. So as you guys can see right here, this is all the supplies that I got. Um, no, the black cat did not come with supplies. so. He's not included. All right, so um, I'm just gonna kind of go over a brief detail of what I got. I mean, it's a lot of, not, not a lot of things, but it's some stuff. It's a good amount. So here's one thing I want to start off with. So here's my um, camping bag, basically. So this is where we're gonna keep all our clothes, your deodorants, your toothpastes, and all those, you know, the basic necessities that you guys need in here. Um, this is a Swiss gear. If you guys can see here, I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. You know, if you guys can see right here, this is the Swiss gear backpack. This thing's got a lot of pockets, so this thing is gonna be great when it comes to ca truck camping. I got all these pockets in here. I can put a lot of stuff in. And if you guys open it up right here, I think you guys will like this. Look at that. So yeah, it's, it's like a mini suitcase in a bag. It's pretty awesome. So this is really gonna come in handy. I would say we could probably pack about three days worth of clothes in here, or three days worth of supplies. I mean, I wouldn't want to be stretching it any farther than that. So the next item I wanted to go over with you guys is going to be this, our sleeping bags. Coleman, Coleman sleeping bag. This bag is basically a 30 degree to 50 degree bag. Well, technically it's a 30 degree bag. You're going to be, the max comfort limit on this bag is going to be 30 degrees, but you'd be definitely a lot comfortable in 40 degree and 50 degree temperatures. So this bag is pretty much a, a good all-around bag for truck camping. I mean, it's not like we're gonna be out there in negative 20 degrees or, you know, negative 10 degrees out there. So this bag will definitely do the job. It's very soft. It's it's very comfortable. It's got a lot of cushion. So I'm gonna be trying this out without a you know without a camping pad. So I'm gonna give this a shot and see how the comfort level is and everything like that. So when that moment comes and it's coming very soon, I'll be going over a lot of more of those details with you guys and on the comfort level and how the item performs and everything like that. Next item I wanted to go over is gonna be the Ozark backpack cooler bag. Um, this cooler bag is supposed to be a 24 can wide mouth backpack cooler bag. So it can hold a lot. We're gonna see if that is really, I mean, it's, if it lives up to its name. So this thing is pretty awesome, man. I really like the, the way it's made. You know, it feels like it's made very sturdy. It's made very well. You know, I was really interested in getting the Yeti. You know, I was really on board for that, but I did not want to pay $300 for a cooler bag. You know, if maybe if this doesn't work out or it's not, it doesn't live up to what it's supposed to, then you know what, maybe I will consider the Yeti. And if you guys look at this, look at this thing, man. It's got a lot of storage space. It's gonna be everything you need for truck camping for at least a two night stay or just, if you just for a couple nights, you know, it's definitely gonna do the job for you. It's got a lot of compartments on it. It's got a big mouth compartment right here. And it's got a little, another small one right here. You know, if you want to put other things in it. But overall, the, the bag is really sturdy. It's, so I will definitely let you guys know how this bag performed and how it worked out. I think it's going to be great. You know, for the price of $47, you know, you can't go wrong. All right, next item is going to be the Ozark Lantern. It's a medium-sized lantern. I didn't want to get the small one. But this thing has pretty bright you want to check it out that's the brightest setting right there guys then there's the lowest right there then it goes off this thing takes about I think 3d batteries if I'm correct so you just unscrew the bottom then you put it in so looks real good that's the highest setting and that's the lowest Ozark Ozark Lantern all right guys and the other item I got over here is a pretty cool item I got me myself the Napier truck tent. This one I got right here specifically fits the style of truck I have. So I have a Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road 2022 
and this one will fit up to a five foot truck bed. It tells you these model numbers that fit each and every different truck style. So like if you have a six foot bed, there's, there's a different number, model number for it. So make sure if you guys end up purchasing this item, you, that you guys look for this. I got these uh, truck straps or tent straps for the tent or where you hook it to the truck sleeve covers for the strap so that it keeps it from scratching your truck or damaging it so i thought it was kind of cool to get you know a try out and i'll definitely let you guys know how this works out but you're definitely going to be seeing this bad boy soon by the way have you guys seen this guy on youtube yet i think he's um i think he calls himself novice adventurer seems like a really cool channel probably should subscribe and um like his video one of your most important items i would have to say would be your storage crate what do you keep in this thing that's the question guys so for my storage crate this is what my haul would have i got me a two plate set it comes with plastic forks plastic cups it's it's pretty crafty man and it's very compact so it's it's kind of got everything you know you got your cups your plastic forks and plates in it so i thought that was really neat and um, of course you guys need to carry your lithium bat rechargeable battery more lithium rechargeable battery pack this thing is really awesome to carry this item i got right here it can recharge my cell phone three times fully charged i recommend if you're gonna start carrying like more electronics with you and things like that then i would recommend probably getting a, a bigger battery pack maybe like a jackery but this will definitely do for now for beginners just like me so this will work out perfect then that I keep all my cooking utensils in here. I got like a wooden spoon, a cutting board that I said I was gonna use from home. This definitely will come in handy. It's not that big. It's pretty slim and compact. Definitely did not want to spend that ten dollars at Walmart for that ten dollar one. So this worked out way better. Then what I also got in here is my knife. You're definitely gonna need this to chop up your vegetables and all your food products for cooking and things like that. So this will work out definitely perfect. And like I say, guys, don't judge. Dollar knife at Walmart, so you can't go wrong. And I got my pots and pans. So I got a pretty much a, just a standard pan. It's a medium-sized cooking pan. I got the little pot in here. I got me a little pot. And of course, this is the cream of the crop right here, guys. I think this is the most important item. Maybe not the most important, but to me, I think it is. Right here is the Coleman Fold and Go. Very compact and very easy to use. But you know what? The true test is, how does this thing work? I think we should find out. All right, so I got the grill over here, so let's make sure this thing works properly. Let's open her up. All right, we got it all out. We got the propane connection. All right, we got it, it's right here. So, got that set up. Let's turn her on. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. All right, that works properly. I think we're gonna try and make some of this jambalaya today, so let's give this a shot. So first things first, we need to get the water flowing. All right, let's just wait for the water to boil. Next step is uh, we need to cut up these sausages to add to it. As you can see, the water's boiling. It took about five minutes to get to the boil. And I mean, I don't even have it set all the way to full like strength with the flame. So that's still pretty good. So let's add the rice. All right, let's get the sausages cooked. I think it's the pot's done. Let's check it out. 
Oh yeah, that looks good. All done. Let's eat. Get the food. Let's see how this came out. Look at this. That came off of a Coleman Folding Go Grill or F F Coleman Folding Go. All right, let's test it. Mm. I have to say, one more bite. I have to say, I'll give this about a, I'll give it a seven out of 10. It's a little salty, but for camping food, you can't go wrong. Thank you for tuning into the video today. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a brief detail of my camping haul of all the things I purchased to give you a little detail on what I got so uh, We're gonna be using it real soon. So stay tuned. That's coming soon guys. That's coming very soon That's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys haven't subscribed yet Please subscribe like my video and turn on your post notifications so you guys can watch my future content I'm novice adventurer I'll see you guys on the next one Wrong side, wrong pocket, wrong pocket. You wanna open, I can't find the zipper on this thing. You know what, that was the right zipper. No, it was not. Where's the zipper? You know what, that was the zipper. Right here guys. So if you guys open this thing up, so here's one setting. So this is like the lowest, like dim setting. Oh, Let's add those sausages. Not as easy as you think, guys.